Hello, gang. Welcome back to Billy's Bluff. It's nice to be back, isn't it? And uh, yeah, apparently, ship, ship, some more ships uh, across all series at the moment. Uh, we are down here outside Port Flipper. We've got a lovely marina here for the passengers to get off. Currently, with no passengers to actually get off, so we're going to fix that today. We've got ourselves an outdoor amphitheater just built down in here. Lovely. Someone's built a house halfway through it, so we're going to have to fix that. Uh, we've got a marina down here uh, with the hotel and uh, cinemas and shops and and uh, lovely big seating garden area. Uh, really loving this. Uh, so we're going to get some people coming in through this place now. Uh, it's good, isn't it? I like it. It's, uh, it's very, uh, very hotel-y. It looks out over the, uh, the port and then out over... Uh, over here at Mac Point. Uh, this, uh, this afternoon, I'd say this afternoon, but at the end of the episode, we're actually going to ride this, uh, the Sodor Island uh, line, it's called. Uh, we're going to ride it so we can see what it's like coming in through past the port and everything today. But I've been doing a little bit of work. It's still nowhere near finished. Just changed up everything, how it looks down here. We're going to pull some ships in today. We're going to pull ships in from Donny Do and from over here at... Uh, uh, Weaver's Watch. We're going to fix up. We're going to clean up Weaver's Watch a bit today. We're going to add another ship on for that food line. It probably doesn't need it. It's doing okay. Uh, when it lands, it does pretty well. But the, the fact is, um, this factory down here, this food factory, could definitely do with a little bit more grain import uh, and transport, right? So we can get some more food out and about because we're going to have to start shipping food to other places on the map, say Colley Bush uh, and uh, Waveview. And uh, who else needs food up here? Probably plenty of people need some food up here. We do have these farms down here we are pulling from to send that grain all the way back down. So it is quite an extensive line. We've still got another farm here we can pull from as well if we need. So there's an and in here, right? These two farms not doing much just here. So we've got plenty of options for grain to get down here and get sent out. But uh, I think for starters, we'll put it. We'll put another ship on that line. Even if it loses a little bit, it, it it'll just start producing a little bit more food for us. So that should be quite nice. Uh, right. So first things first, we can do is actually add that. Just simply by manage vehicles, and we'll just duplicate that ship for them. Right. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember where they're pulling those ships from. Hmm. Right, looks like, uh, looks like, oh, just outside of, uh, of, uh, way, uh, Weaver's Watch. That's not too bad. Okay, second thing I want to do is I want to start getting some people in, and then we'll go down and we'll work on, uh, Weaver's Watch. So, it's quite simple, quite straightforward, because if we head up to Donny Do here, we can see we've already got the, uh, Passenger Wharf in down here that's already, uh, click on the passenger one. It's already bringing people from Cape Hank, okay? So, pretty cool. Uh, that's going to be that. We're going to set up... So we get this place running even busier today, which will be quite nice. We'll get this place uh, really, really pumping, as to say. Right, so just new line here. We're going to go people, the people's port, <laughs> all the way down here into uh, Port Flipper. Lovely. I accept. I don't want to do that. I've got a little showboat in there at the moment. So I'm going to change you. And uh, now you've got Mac Point. Now there is the ability for you to come into one of these. Even though you're not really letting me, are you? And you're calling it Mac Point. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting because we do have the ability for you to land there. Why would you not take that? Why would you not allow me to take that? Well, it doesn't make any difference. I can move that ship. That show ship. I can move that. We'll move it now. You get this little mod here. We can put in like, uh, hey, you know what? We'll put in this one because it's a little bit bigger and it looks a little bit more uh, kind of uh, uh, passenger-wise. The other one looked a little bit too modern. So we'll, we'll pull up that one in just there. That means our ship will actually come right into here now, which is actually not a bad thing because we've got the uh, Mac Point um, passenger building there, terminus building there. We've got the ability to send some people in and around here, which we're going to fix up shortly as well. To get a line in and around the towns. 
Uh, we've got the train station there. So it's probably about time we did actually set up a bus service for Port Flipper because it's getting quite big now. And uh, it means, yeah, a lot of people out here are missing out and potentially down this way as well. We're not going to extend the bus service down to here because they've got their own bus service going on. But at some point, this bus service is going to have to reach out down here and uh, reach out, touching me, touching you. <laughs> you get it. All right, so... Uh, what do I want? The peoples, please. This one here. We're going to color it the color that we like, the bright green one. We're actually just going to call this the, um, what are we going to, oh, well, we're just going to keep it simple. Port lip to Donny, Donny D. Uh, and it is packed and it is via ship. But, so that's easy done named we will yeah okay we'll, we'll put a vehicle on it now i don't know if we can manage vehicles and we can buy them from here no we cannot uh we're gonna have to set up a lovely looking um uh boat building facility i think coral shores might be the people to do that or we might incorporate it with the new uh weaver's watch uh port down here but either way We'll be buying a ship from here and sending it all the way up the other end. Now, we've got the MSC Stearns. We've got the Meridian Ferry, which I think is the way we want to go. Or we've got the Zurich, which we haven't utilized the Zurich yet. And it takes 150 people. I just don't know. That's 120. That seems more realistic. 262 to run. 284. That takes only 11. Uh, look at that thing. That's 35. We'll, we'll go with the Meridian Ferry because it is part of the new uh, new deluxe upgraded package stuff. So we'll just buy one and set you on Donny Do. Uh, no, Port Flipper Donny Do pack ship. Okay. So that's going to get that. Uh, it's going to get people interested in traveling that way. In the meantime, let's set up a bit of a passenger service now. You can see I've done a little bit of work in here with roundabouts. You know, I love a roundabout. And down in here, I've put in some uh, slip roads. Uh, just uh, for people to get off and head that way. And I've put in these causeways uh, heading out behind the uh, the ports here. So I had to delete a lot of buildings in and around here to do it, but they will grow back. And you can see they've started to grow back and I've started to add just some trees and stuff in there. Yeah, you can let me know what you think in the comment section below. Not finished by any means at all. A long way to go. We're going to sort of fence off a lot more of this area, I think, and uh, maybe put some car parky stuff in and uh and do some other stuff maybe some more uh, marina um stains down here we've got the big anchors in this garden bed here just thought it'd be lovely you know sit here wait for your ship look out over the busy port look out over mac point and just see it's a lovely little tucked into a, a big mountainous uh river area uh, i kind of like it it's it's kind of nice Anyway, um, <laughs> stop admiring it, Ham. I just really like it. You can get a nice overhead shot of it all there, right? So that's why it's going to be interesting to ride the train from Collie Bush all the way down into Dewey Cove, Mac Point, and then to Port Flipper um, at the end of the episode for our track ride along. I think that'll be just lovely. Okay, um, let's get the people uh, lifted and shifted, I like to say. Right, so get me some bus stops, please. We're going to go... Oh, excuse me, hiccups. We're going to go with this one here, the rural bus stop, but I kind of like it. I kind of like its glass stop. So we've got the ability to come in this way and head out this way. So we are going to first up put a road in here for the people. All right, we'll keep it a nice straight one, just point to point like that. All right, just so we can get uh, we can get a bit of a, uh, a big, nice loop in. All right, so first bus stop will actually be, yeah, Second bus stop will be down here outside the factories. Third bus stop. We probably want to swing part downtown here. So we might actually swing downtown here outside the train station before coming back over the top and heading to maybe just, well, probably here. Then another one outside of the train station. Maybe We'll just make it probably there. Uh, we'll head, so we'll head, uh, we'll head up this street and over to here. Will we? We could go that way. Then back around. Down this way. 
Yeah. Yeah, this way. Then they're going to have to take... Um, the bus will probably have to get, go up this way down and uh, take the, uh, the off-ramp and head back in this way. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Right, let's see how that goes. It's a, it's a tough line, and I probably should be running figure eights and all that sort of jazz, but uh, for the moment, we're not really going to. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And then I kind of, you've decided to go, well, actually, that's not bad if you loop back on yourself and just go in town there. That saves a big travel back over that bridge and down that way. Yeah, I can deal with that. Uh, and then that should... You can see their coverage there. That's got coverage to all of that. All of that. There's a couple of bus stops in there which might double up, but that's fine. There. Yeah, so we're pretty covered in terms of uh, in pickup. Right. So that line itself. And the good thing is you can see that they do come in. Uh, can we actually change you at port flip, uh, upper port flipper? Can we change you to like two? No, you do, you still do weird turny things. So just leave it at one. You can do a loop-de-loop. -loop. I don't really care. What we will do, we might even say you can just go to one or two. But we might leave it because we may put another uh, another way and it can come in this way and stop off here and then head out. We might do a, uh, we might end up going a clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, bus route eventually. Okay, so uh, give that a name. Oh, you're right. Give it the color. Give it the color, give it the name. We're just literally gonna call it uh, Port uh, Flipper. Port Flip Commuter. That's that's all, it's pretty self-explanatory. We know that it's gonna be packed, so you're not commuting uh, grain or steel or anything. It's just a Port Flipper Commuter. Okay, cool. Uh, we wanna buy some vehicles. Where have I left the vehicle purchase building? Uh, here. In the middle of uh, in the middle of the town, so passengers wise, I have been using the Citron a lot. So we're not going to go with the Citron. We're going to go with um, I would like a nice city. Maybe we will because they they kind of fit the bill if you know what I mean. They look like they belong. The nice big open top, scenic tour buses, and when we get some new ones, we might just change them up. In the meantime, we'll go with six. Now they may run at a slight loss. But I'm not really worried because I'd rather people get lifted and shifted. And if they're running at a massive loss all the time, we can we can take a couple off or maybe even add a couple and just see how they go. So anyway, they're going to head out about and do that. So that is the first passenger ship line into here with packs that can get set up for there. And if people want to come from Mac Point to get on the ship, well, they can get the train straight into here, get on the bus and uh, get lifted and shifted down there. Or they can go for a nice stroll through the downtown Port Flipper and uh, down to the bus stop itself. Nice, lovely day for a walk through the town. <laughs> okay, right. So next, because we are going to be sending people to Weaver's Watch as well. But look at the mess that is the port at Weaver's Watch. So let's just check a couple of things here. We've got the... Uh, we've got the uh, grain ships that land on that dock there. I'm probably, hmm, pause. This is all sorts of wrong. I probably want to leave the U shape and then down the back side here, we might put the uh, passengers, but we might just shorten this how it's going. So get rid of that one for me. I'm going to switch this around to be more like that. Yep, sorry about your building. Sorry, not sorry. Give me a landing. So. That'll be back where that goes just there. That's fine. That looks a little bit better. And even so, we can probably... I'll, I'll leave I'll leave it all this older style as well. We might actually just do this, hey? Can you get... Um, you can't get one on the end there, can you? That's totally fine. We can put that on the end. Do I want to? Uh, probably prefer to put it there. I'll put it there. Uh, we, I might even just bring the land out in and around it a little bit more. I mean, it's cool how it does that, but I think it would be better if we actually just go like this. Right. And then take 
some of that back away so we've got the ability to get ships in. Just like such. I'll leave that backside there like that. Uh, and then we can just do a little bit of smooth off. Right. Just so we can still configure. Miscellaneous. No, I want uh, landings this outside of navigatable. So I need to take a little bit more back. Now there is a cool way you can, uh, I've, I've got to remember the keys here. Was it um, alt D, right alt and D, and then you can bring up environment and then we'll go to uh, the Medi Mediterranean and we're going to switch this down here, extinction to uh, 0 0.005, I'm pretty sure. There we go, right? Look at that, it makes the water nice and clear, it makes everything look beautiful and tropical, and it allows us to be able to see what we're actually doing without having to bring up other menus, so that's a really good. Um, you can thank Hushy for that. Hushy, go and check out Hushy's YouTube channel. I will link it down below in the comments, uh, in the uh, description section. Hushy is a fantastic uh, content creator who has many great tips and tricks for transport fever. Trust me. He is a legend. Go and check his stuff out. Uh, he is fantastic at, uh, at uh, some hints and tips and tricks. And he dropped into the live stream that we had the other day and uh, showed us that one. So thank you, Hushy. I hope you're well, friendo, and uh, love your work, buddy. Right, take some of this out. Just knock that down a touch. Actually, go to the round one for me. Right, just like that. I think that place is sort of, yeah, that place was sort of just messing with our um, our port here a little bit. I'm going to take all of this out. Because when you think about it, a, uh, a port would be dredged out. So there's plenty of landings there. Because the thing that happens in ports that a lot of people may not realize is with ships... Uh, if there's no way to pull a ship into dry dock or whatever, a lot of um, ports have people that will do like diving under the ships and clean the hulls, degores hulls, all that sort of stuff, uh, and uh, scrape barnacles off and just clean it all up. Uh, and a lot of a uh, lot of ports and stuff will do that, uh, and it's uh, you know just for ship maintenance and all that sort of stuff. Right, I think we're good there like that. I'm just going to clean up these shelves just a little bit. We can't be having uh, jagged, big jaggedy sort of jagged, jagger jaggers <laughs> in our ports, right? Uh, right. So that's uh, you can see. It looks. I mean, it doesn't look great, but you can see it kind of would be a thing that would happen. Uh, the thing that we're doing around here, right? Uh, a couple of things. Let's just make sure that this here is not going to go there. We're going to manage that line. You are actually. We want to put our landings back in, don't we? We've got a landing there. We can get a landing there. And we, now we should be able to get a landing there. That's amazing. Right. So you can see that they've taken that spot back there. We're going to send um, the grain line. Manage that line. We're going to send it over to this side here. So at Weaver's Watch, can you come to number one for me, please? Yes, that's better. Right. And, uh, and these ships here, I really thought they already moved, but maybe they didn't. No, I thought they just moved back here. Did I put in a passenger? Oh, whoopsies. Right. Oh, no. Well, that sort of uh, sorted that out then, didn't it? <laughs> it's starting. When in doubt, start again. Okay. Oh, ham, you muppet. Right. So we were. Oh, dear. Wait, wait, wait. Were we on an angle here or were we straight? Oh dear. Um, hmm. I think I have a feeling we were like here. If either way, we will go from here. Uh, I think that's where we were, or we might have been here. Even no, it was definitely here. Oh ham, you muppet. That's okay. Uh, manage, uh, configure that, please. It won't take long to put this back in. How we had it, cargo, please. That's the one I want. So you will be going like that. Like that. Like that. Oh, yeah. You 
can see here, it doesn't take long for us to put it back. And then we had this in there. Right. Perfect. I wanted to get rid of those anyway because that's now going to be passengers up that side. Uh, so that's, <laughs> that's totally fine. Um, oh, you muppet him. So landing-wise, we're going to go back there. Here. And here. And we'll put one in. Uh, well, we can't yet. I, we don't really need it in there. Can we get a small one in? What I might do, or cargo-wise, we might actually put like this in here and that'll just tidy that up nicely and then we can get a landing in there and that's actually going to be better for us we can put two in there yeah that's nice that just sort of finishes that side off a little bit what i might do here also is uh well we don't need that landing just there uh and i'll leave that one there can i get uh can i get you in there well okay we'll leave it we'll, we'll take that one out too Remember that moment that you would, you set it up beautifully how you wanted it and then you deleted it? Shut up. <laughs> it's part of the game, right? Part of the ship, part of the crew. I'm going to leave that open as a nice little sort of area there and then we're going to feed the passengers off this side. Uh, yeah, I like that. And then if, if later on with this uh, cargo port, if we want, we can always extend it out this way and we can put more cargo in and around here. Like a nice big U-shape there. So, yeah, not really worried about that. Uh, in terms of uh, our lines, fix that up, manage the line, let's do that. We'll do it again. Just do it again. One. And then, yeah, that's where I want the blue. So, out of all that, I got the blue one where I wanted it anyway. That's fine. Okay. Let's, um, let's go configure and add some passengers now. Oh, ham, you muppet. Now, notice how I'm not, I'm not actually going with the, uh, the new style over here. I'm going with the older style as well. Uh, for this though, however, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with the older style in terms of uh, port here. I'm gonna delete a few, there will be a few buildings that will get deleted here for this. Uh, don't forget that you're gonna have to have, yeah, I just wanna be able to get that in there like that. Uh, well, actually, no, leave that big deck there. Well, I need to leave myself some space, though. Uh, I'm not really worried about the buildings. I just need some kind of a place for buses to be able to get in and out. That's all I'm thinking. I don't have a lot of space to work with there. Let me just try and get this set up first. I mean, it may just come down to the fact that you need to put a 10 meter in and put it in like that. Can we get a 20 doing that? Not really. Look, we can get that. If you can configure, it makes no difference really if we can't or not, but we can get extra spots there and there. Just that side we can't. Uh, I'd like to slap a building in here, but we may end up only just getting one. Not even. Not even, Stephen. Uh, that's fine. It'll be fine. We've got connections to the road here as well, which is really important for us. Uh, and uh, we've got a bus turn around as well. So that's all that matters down here at this port. We can continue on configuring it now just to dress it up. As I always say, when I start building these ports like this, um, remember that this is all subject to change, as you can see, uh, when it's come to basically, uh, with, uh, with Port Flipper itself, you can see how much that changed. I can't actually get, uh, another one off there. I wanted it to come straight across. What about if you chuck one of these in? Oh yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, put another one in there. You could even have like a double building up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like that. Right? So three but I know we don't need three buildings, but it's more of a, uh, it's more a want. I want three buildings. Yeah, do this, right? And then you can have lovely, uh, I'll dig that out and make lovely little water features in there, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is quite nice. And then uh, just give me one more passenger off in here. So what we can have, well, you could go that way. 
right? So what we can have is the ability to send, uh, I wonder if that'll work for me, landing. Give me a small boats. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's Gucci. This corner here, I don't like. Uh, it's the same on both sides, so don't worry about it. And we can have a big one there, right? So that is, uh, that's kind of Weaver's Watch port setup, basic structure, right? It's framework. Uh, then we can go ahead and do things, lovely little things like uh, like this. Take that out. In through there. Take it all back. Take it back now, man. I take it back, right? Take that back, but then smooth it off, right? Leave them with some beach out the front of their place. You got to do that, and then just smooth that up for me. We're rinsing the budget in terms of uh, in terms of uh, land work. That's for sure. Right? Yeah. Make that all look nice. That's better. Right. Right, so, uh, and then we can put uh, some decoration stuff in here. I can go through and do all that later. If you if you would like to see more episodes where I do time lapses with decorations, please let me know down below because I will do it. Otherwise, I'm happy just to sit on my own and do the decoration, bring you back and show you uh, how that's going. Uh, but, you know, sort of uh, we, we, we start to in incorporate things like, uh, uh, where's my, like these? Cranes will go in like that. Bang. Exactly like that. That's that's kind of perfect. And I, I do kind of like the red one. But I've used the red one at the other port, so we'll use the blue one here. And, you know, like, just bang, bish, bash, bosh. And then all of a sudden it looks, it just looks like a uh, like a port. Uh, we can throw in some of these. You can even throw these in for the passengers because, I mean, when, when uh, massive ships come in to load passengers, they would have cranes and stuff to load products and stuff in. Uh, so don't, uh, if you're ever doing this at home, don't ever be afraid to throw them in and check them out. Uh, I'll probably throw some of these in on this side, but I'll, I'll set them back just so we've got. The wharf, uh, the wharf tires and stuff along the marina there set up like that, right? Uh, and then uh, we'll just put a couple of regular regulars in around here. Of regulars. I like to put them sideways so they look like they're tracking along these yellow tracks down in here and they're running, they're not running over boxes and stuff. I'll probably put you like there. Okay. So nice. And then what I'll do is I'll actually decorate up and I'll probably get rid of the most of the people in here or I'll fix up their area in there anyway. Uh, but we do have the truck stops here, which uh, kind of link up to that, all of that anyway. So it makes no difference. The truck stops linked up with the train station itself. Uh, which might even get a rework at some point if we're going to make this a regular sort of massive port down here for Weaver's Watch. So, yeah, stay stay tuned for that. And all this will probably get a clean up in here. We might even just section this off to be purely just for uh, Weaver's Watch uh, port and uh, ferry terminal. So, yeah, think of it like that, right? So, um, either way, I know it looks kind of scrappy like that, but I can't... I don't want to spend 40 minutes put, putting all the decorations in. Uh, you know, it's kind of a waste of time when I can just bring you back next time and show you what we've done. Right, let's get a line in. Ah, uh, well, hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Our bus service here, this is a nice and easy fix because we can go North Street straight into here, straight down to High Street. We probably don't even need North Street, but I kind of want it. And they're still running horse and buggy. Holy snap and duckfish. We really need to get back to this side of the map. So at North Street at a station, just in there, nice little turnaround, and uh, the people can get uh, lift and shift in there. That's a nice, easy fix, actually, for us, so that's really good. Uh, can you please now, holy moly, look at these things. The only, wow, there's probably a few places that still run them. Uh, we are going to run, I think the, the Sora looks like a good little bus, but I think we want to give them a decent upgrade. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, these these see these to me seem like cross country buses. It is nineteen sixty four ham, so ah, okay, we'll go with the fishbowl. We'll just go with the regular fishbowl. Cool, right. So they're going to get a massive upgrade. So maybe Weaver's Watch will start to really uh, push out and about and extend its reach just a touch. Right, let's get the line in from here, please. New line from passengers 
to passengers. Now, I, this is why I really wanted this wharf up here working because I'm going to have to look into it after, which I will do, as to why that won't read there. And it might be something that I've done, but uh, I'll double check it out anyway and see how it goes. Uh, this line is just going to be pretty much same as what we did naming convention wise. We're going to be like port lip to weavers w and um we so we said packs didn't we even though we know it's packs uh ham did you know you're in caps like that no i didn't or no now you're not clicking wrong buttons I, all my fingers get just caught up all over the uh all over the keyboard sometimes i'm hitting buttons i shouldn't be weavers w packs Right, lovely. That is that. So all of a sudden we're getting at two passenger lines in here now. Let's put a let's put a boat on that. We might go with something a little bit different down here. We might actually go by vehicles, passenger please. We might actually go with something like this MS theme. It, it's eight capacity of 18. I think that's a good start for that little trip. Uh it mixes up the boats that are coming in as well. Uh we'll just get one going just to get it sort of set off and uh and no 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 hang on hang on hang on hang on what was that? What was that? What was that? Just double check that. I put it on the grain one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That that boat there. Can you go online? Port Flipper Weaver's Watch Pack Ship, please. Lovely. Okay, so that's going to be really good because uh, that's more people in and out of each towns. We're connecting continents. I, well, they're not continents, but. Think of it. Oh, look at look at the map once we change that water thing. How spectacular with the blue, the vibrant blue. But uh, we're connecting more islands to each other is what I'm trying to say. So we do have the, the airport that's running all the way up to this end. Look at the water down here now. It just adds, it makes it more tropical, doesn't it? Thank you, Hashi, for that lovely, lovely uh, tip. So if you're wondering how to do that, uh, <clears throat> right? Excuse me. Make sure that when you're when you're in the game in settings, you have to have debug mode enabled. Right here, debug mode enabled. Then you go to your right alt button on the right side of the space bar, alt and the D button, D for delta. Right, and that brings up these. You can change all sorts of things. You can make it boggy and everything. Lovely, cool stuff you can check uh, and uh, you can add in, right? So pretty cool little hint and tip there from Hushy. Uh, as I said, check his content out down below. Uh, in the description, you'll see the link to his channel if you haven't. I mean, he's, he's a bigger content creator than me, and he does some fantastic stuff, uh, and it's kind of fun to watch. Right, we are going to be riding the train out of here today. Uh, here's one now. We're going to be riding the red one. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comment section about down below. Uh, about the ports. Do you like seeing these port builds? Because we've had a few lately and, it, and it's just kind of where we are at in the game at the moment with these port builds. So we will be pushing forward with more aircraft and more trains and uh, other transport uh, avenues very soon. But for now, we're kind of at that point where we need to start shipping um, products by ship and people by ship. Holy snapping people problem, Batman. Stay safe wherever you are, gang. Please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing down below. Uh, come and join us for the live streams. Come and join the Discord, where we've got lots of very uh, informative and intuitive people on Transport Fever 2. If you've got any questions, queries, and comments, come and check us out and have a chat. We're more than happy to do that. Uh, okay. That's it. Enjoy this little track ride along, because I am going to be waiting on it with bated breath or getting down to that new port and having a look at that. Here we go. All right, gang. Enjoy this. Get out of here. Engage. 